Did you hear about the monkeys who shared an Amazon account? They were prime mates. <laughs> Hello again everybody and welcome back. Right, so a lot of people use VPNs, a lot use IP Vanish. I'm going to try my best to show you the tips that you can do to try and improve any speeds that you can get. So when you're using a VPN you may get dog shit speeds, but we're going to try and change that. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right then, so first of all, I am going to be on the 4K Fire Stick and then I'm going to take it over to the PC just to show you some results of the differences that it makes. Right then, so first of all, I'm not even connected to a VPN at the moment. I'll be using IP Vanish in this tutorial and I will show you the hidden router as well. So if I launch the application and download it, I have saved it into the favourites. It's literally just fast.com. And once you click on that, it's going to give you a quick reading of the download speeds you will be getting. Right, so as you can see, my regular speed is between 210 and 220 megabits download per second. And what we're going to do now, we're going to jump over to IP Vanish application. Right, so if you haven't already got IP Vanish, you can literally go to the Amazon store or the Google store, whatever your device you are using, and then get it from there. What I will say as well, if they, uh, if they have, if they have, <laughs> what I will say as well is at the moment they have got a big offer on for three month subscriptions and it's for life. So the discount for, I think it works out at $4.20 per month. You will get that for life if you sign up before the first of the next month. I'm not using that as a sales pitch either. I know a lot of people like to know when they do have offers on, so I'm telling you now when it is. But I will leave a link in the description down below where you can go and check it out. Right, so I'm going to launch the application, and as you can see, it loads up like we expect it. And this is probably going to work for any VPN as well, not just IP Vanish. Right, so usually when you launch it, you'll just pick a country and then the city will be best available and the server will be best available. And then you're going to connect it and it's going to use the settings that are already set as it's set. <laughs> and once it's connected, we're going to go back and we're going to go to downloader again. I'll force stop and launch the application. We'll go to the left hand side and you want to visit fast.com again. The reason I saved it to favourites is purely because it's a lot quicker just having it there. And I will show you how to add things to your favourites as well. One thing to bear in mind when you're using a VPN on Fire Sticks and that, do bear in mind they're not the most powerful device. And that's one of the reasons I'm going to jump over and show you on the PC shortly as well. If you want to add it to your favourites in the top right, 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 but what side? <laughs> in the top right hand corner you're going to see the hamburger menu, click on that. Add current page to favourites, then click on save, and that's how you get it into there. So as you can see, 35 mega, and that's a massive drop to what we've just had. Right, so once we launch it again, we're going to change the city. Legend has it, the closer you are to that server, the faster your speeds will be. And then you've got servers, which I'm going to show you in a moment as well. Also, you see the settings icon in the top right hand corner. If you scroll down, you see a VPN protocol. You see TCP and UDP. Change those. Just This is a case of trial and error. You're never going to find it's the same for everybody. I want you to comment down below what settings you use, what you've changed around to get it better for you. I don't care if you use v um, IP Vanish, NordVPN, ProVPN. It doesn't matter. Just the settings so people can come here and see what's best. So I am, I'm going to change that because that's what I'm like. I'm ruthless when it comes to all like that. And what we're going to do, I'm going to connect again and then I'm going to do another speed test. I can't even remember the speed that we've just had. I think it was 34, so let's try it. Right then, so let's go again. As I say, favourites and then I can click on that and then it takes me direct there. So 34 was what we had last time. Right, so as you can see, this time it is at 49. Obviously, the, the speeds change anyway, so you can't really put your finger on if it's the setting we've changed or if it's just that test. But I'm just really trying to show you ways that you can change it to try and improve the speeds because a lot of people have been saying they're getting no download speeds at all when you're really... IP Vanish is claimed to be the fastest VPN software based that you can get and their servers are the are faster than any other VPN service. Software based, may I add. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do this time is just take you over to the PC just to show you another thing you can look at that can help you. Once you sign in, you can go across from account to server list. And once you're on server list, 
you're going to see it comes up with all the servers around you. So I've connected to Manchester and as you can see it tells me the capacity. So this is how much load is on that server. So 37% capacity as opposed to 16% capacity on the Mandash CO2. Mandash. I'm Mandash. <laughs> and then obviously if you're in the US and you want to connect to those servers, you'll just go to the bottom and choose a page. Right, so as you can see there, Man O2 is 16% capacity. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down to server. Right then, so once you're back into the application on your device, you go down to server on the left hand side and you can see O2 there. So we'll click on that and then that's the server you're going to connect to. It's not going to choose itself. Connect to that and then we'll go and check that speed again, see if it makes any difference at all. So once again, we'll click on the speed test. We're going to try one more thing on this device. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it over to the PC and just show you a couple of tweets you can do on there as well. And a couple of differences also. Right, so as you can see there, we're at 45. So it's pretty much the same really. So let's do one more change, see if that does anything. And then ding dang do. At least you know the settings you can change to try and get the best speeds for you on whichever VPN you are using. Right, so this time, this is on the PC now. And as you can see, it's giving me more of a true reading. Purely because the device on a PC is a lot more powerful than a Fire Stick. So this is going to give you a lot more of a true reading. So if you haven't got a laptop or a PC, do double check your speeds on there. Because you can't really go off a... It's not a dog shit device, but compared to a PC, it's not the best in the world, is it? So now what we're going to do, we're going to jump into here. And then as you can see on the left hand side, you can see it says settings. And then you've got an active protocol. So then you go into there and you've got a lot more options this time. I found the best for me is this one here. I'm not sure how you say it, but you can see it. IKE V2. And there's also L2TP, which has also worked all right for me also. So you can change those. And then another thing you can do is go to the server list. We'll scroll down to, obviously a lot of you guys, you, you may be in different areas, I don't know. But for me, it's the United Kingdom, which is best. On the right hand side you're going to see some numbers and that's the amount of servers in your area. And then you're going to see there it tells you the ping and the load. So this is the same as what you've just looked at the server list on the website. And as you can see there the best for me is probably going to be 01. But then you also see 02 above it there. You can see it's actually got a lower ping, but we are going to try the O1. I'll just double click on that, then it will connect me. So now let's try the speed test again and see what kind of reading that gives us. I'm guessing it's going to give us a lot more than the fire stick did, but we don't know. <laughs> so as you can see there, it's giving me 120, which is still quite a big drop. And it is a lot less than I usually get on IP Vanish. So we'll go back in. I'll change the server again. I'll change it to the O2 this time. Try that again. So that gives me 120. I'm going to make one more change. So I'm going to go back into the settings, disconnect, change it to the L2TP. And this time what we're going to do, we're going to change this to the vest, vest available. It is warm. I do wear vests sometimes and it's just stuck in my head. <laughs> and I'm going to click on connect. So this time I've only changed the protocol and I've let the IP vanish actually pick the best server itself. So let's see what kind of speeds that gives us. Right, so this time that's actually 170. I'm going to do that one more time because this is the last test. So as you can see there, it gives me 110 this time. It, it does fluctuate. You are going to get high speeds at some times and low speeds at different times. But you're always going to get enough of what you're going to need it for. For streaming, there's people with 5 megabits download speeds that can act that's capable of viewing stuff like that. And anything above, say, 20 or 30 is easy enough to watch HD content. Right then, so that was just a bit of a look. It, it, I did use IP Vanish, yes, you may be using a different VPN, but it should be the same kind of thing. If you don't know how a VPN works, it's literally you're connecting through a different server and then through that server you're connecting to the website you want to visit. So that's where the dropping speeds come from. So yeah, that's it. I know it dragged on a bit, honestly, but I know it is a very popular question of your VPN not giving you good speeds. 
And all I've tried to do there is try to show you different ways of how you can improve those speeds. A lot of people won't know how many settings you can change, protocols, servers. There's a lot of things you can change to try and improve those speeds. But don't forget, do comment down below what settings you use and what works best for you. And don't forget, if you are looking for a VPN, IP Vanish is the one I've just used. They do have the fastest servers for the software based also, but it's purely down to personal preference. IP Vanish is just one I use personally. And like I say, they do have an offer on at the moment. The link will be down below. But I also hear NordVPN is also quite good. So yeah, I did find that tutorial quite boring. I didn't find a way to have a laugh with you, which is quite disappointing for myself. <laughs> you all know I like a good laugh. But that was just a bit intense on me head and I've got a jumper on and it's about 42 degrees Celsius outside. So that being said, have a lovely weekend. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button or a video coming tomorrow as well I want you to watch. And I'll see you soon. Tara. Because myth has it or legend has it, the closer the server is, I can't say shit me.